10 most unusual schools in the world. The boat schools of Bangladesh. The thought of attending school on a boat might seem like a fun, quirky teaching gimmick, but it is a product of necessity in flood-affected Bangladesh. Twice a year, flooding leaves millions of Bangladesh citizens with little to no access to clean water, leading to the development of boat schools by a local non-profit organization intent on making education widely accessible. The non-profit organization, called Shaidale Shwarnavar Shangsta, has now established nearly 100 boat schools, each equipped with solar power, internet access, and even a library. The boat idea has also been put towards houses and healthcare centers. The Witch School of Salem. Leave it to the home of Salem Witch Trials to dedicate an entire school to sorcery. Though most of its 40,000 students opt to study their witchcraft through online learning, the Witch School does offer a physical campus that includes classes like Wicca, Paganism, and Divinatory Arts. Initially based in Roseville, Chicago, the school was moved after coming under fire from local Christians, who sprinkled holy water on the vehicles of witching students. It now resides in Salem, home of an active witch community and the site of approximately 200 witchcraft trials between 1692 and 1693. Dongjong Dong Cave School, China. Although it may seem strange and a little creepy to have children attend a school inside a dark cave, Villagers in Dongjong were simply using the limited resources at their disposal in the development of what is now known as the Cave School. Situated in one of China's poorest areas, the Cave School was established out of necessity for a village that couldn't otherwise afford to build a standalone school. This wasn't deemed to be an ideal learning environment, and so the Chinese government stepped in and closed the school in 2001, arguing that the country is not a society of cavemen. River Plate School, Argentina. Distractions can manifest themselves in any classroom setting, but students at the River Plate School in Buenos Aires have the added challenge of trying to focus within a world-class soccer stadium. River Plate students spend their school days inside Buenos Aires Stadium, the home of Club Atletico River Plate soccer players that also doubles as an academic institution for its 2,000 pupils. From time to time, the Club Atletico soccer players have been known to hold practices even as school is in session, making for a unique but challenging teaching environment. School of the Future, Philadelphia. It's tough to keep ahead of the curve when it comes to the fast-paced world of digital technology, but that's exactly where students at the Microsoft Design School of the Future in Philadelphia find themselves. Since opening in 2006, the ambitious $63 million project has welcomed students, most of whom come from low-income households and all selected through a lottery process, to a paperless environment with a laptop given to each pupil. The technologically advanced school has drawn global attention, with visitors coming in from more than 50 countries. Burgess Hill School, England. The 1960s were a culturally complex decade filled with youthful activism and a rebellious spirit, and the Burgess Hill School in the London suburb of Hampstead reflected that. Rules didn't apply at Burgess where the school's progressive mandate meant that students could smoke, listen to music, wear sunglasses, and even bring pets to class. Even the lessons themselves were voluntary, at this boarding school that doubled as a social experiment. The lack of structure might have worked for some, but it's no wonder that the school has long since shut its doors. Gulu Elementary School, China. Students must brave the Luoma Way, filled with sharp turns, narrow rocky passages, and rickety bridges each day in order to get to the Gulu School, tucked away in the mountains of China's Sichuan province. That the school even exists is a testament to the work of Shen Qijun, the school's only teacher who single-handedly rallied villagers to band together and renovate Gulu in the late 80s. Since then, the school has added plumbing and even a basketball net. Although you probably don't want to miss your shot, it's a long way down the mountain. Harvey Milk High School, New York. Named after the charismatic California politician who helped forward the gay rights movement in the 1970s, this New York school was built to cater to the needs of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender students who may feel marginalized elsewhere. Students of any sexual orientation are welcome to enroll, but the school was born out of the needs of students who didn't feel like they fit in at any other institution. Harvey Milk High has come under plenty of fire during its existence from anti-gay groups but continues to thrive to this day. The Train Platform Schools of India Thanks to Indian teacher Inderjeet Kurana, impoverished children in certain parts of India who don't have access to education can have the education brought to them. After encountering children begging for money instead of attending school on her train ride to work, Kurana led an effort to introduce train schools. 
where children can learn how to read and write by gathering between train stops. The program, which started with just one school, now brings education to over 4,000 students. The program also provides food and medication to the families of the students. Forest kindergartens across Europe. Outdoor time comes long before the recess bell for young children who attend forest schools. Popularized in Europe, forest kindergartens enable children aged 3 to 6 to interact with their natural surroundings through outdoor classrooms. They can climb trees, stroll in the grass and find creative ways to engage with nature and learn firsthand about their natural surroundings. But they better be dressed appropriately. Most of these schools operate rain or shine and regardless of the season.